na 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 When I first heard the song Cracker Barrel, I had to cut it. Because I don't know if you know this or not, but way back when, uh, when I first started doing country music here in Nashville, I used to go to the Cracker Barrel out in Music Valley. And in those days, if you were a country singer on the radio, then you got to eat at Cracker Barrel for free. Now, I didn't know that until I went in and I ordered my food. And then when I came out, they said, oh, no, it's on the house. And I said, why is that? And they said, well, and here's what I was told. Uh, Boxcar Willie was one of the first people that used to go to Cracker Barrel. And he, of course, was a country singer. And they would give him his food for free. And they wound up saying that any country singer who ever came into a Cracker Barrel would get food for free. Now, that makes sense to me when you're out away from Nashville, but if you're in Nashville, that's a good way not to, that's a good way to go broke by giving every country singer that comes in uh, food for free. And you'll see every face, every race, every background, there's rest for the gypsies, the bikers and broke downs, all heading in different directions, but right now, we're all at home at the Cracker Barrel. I love it, and my favorite thing to eat there, of course, is Uncle Herschel's favorite. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. And the cornbread, mmm, mmm. One of the people I used to go to the Cracker Barrel there across from the Opry in uh, Music Valley with was uh, Dottie West. I've been to the Cracker Barrel a couple times. You know, Dottie West was kind of hard to hide. Me, I can put a cowboy hat on or a baseball cap and kind of kind of blend in if I want to. But it was hard for Dottie to blend in just about anywhere. But did that and, of course, also ate at that Cracker Barrel with my band many times. And I think I've even had a... Uncle Herschel's favorite or two at that particular Cracker Barrel with uh, Tom Wopat. And, of course, just a few doors down from Cracker Barrel in Music Valley is a certain orange Dodge Charger. And there's a museum there full of memorabilia from the Dukes of Hazard days uh, put together by Ben Jones. It's fantastic. I even had a chance to stop by and visit some of the lifetime Dukes fans that were standing out there a few weeks ago. Hey, how are you? John Shrey. How are you? I'm good. It's your daisy shirt. Yeah. I need a daisy shirt. Oh, you need your daisy shirt. Yeah. Well, thank you. You got stuck. seen that. Yeah, he's got a lot more stuff now. You know what it is? I bet you they closed one. Oh, remember sliding puzzles? No. That's pretty cool. Can I get my picture with you? Sure, absolutely. No way! No way. Oh my goodness! Oh my goh! No sneak it in. There sneak it in. No way! It's hard to sneak into a Duke yes, of <laughs> Best day ever! Really Love good that. Girls, go, go. How do you know that? Because well, you have good parents. <laughs> That's right. You're raised well. Uh, thank you so much, sir. You're so welcome. There's just something special about country music. It's rich in history. It's got great stories. And many times I've sat in the Cracker Barrel right before taking the Opry stage. And there's nothing like it. It's a music of the people. Love me some Cracker Barrel. Always have. 